Hey, how's it going? It's Sam Frost here. In this video, I want to show you how you can avoid making a really common mistake that I see a lot of people make when they are setting up Google Ads campaigns. I've been doing a few short videos recently on common Google Ads mistakes, and this is definitely up there as one of the most common. Now, basically what this mistake is, is not understanding Google's default location setting. Uh, so let's say you're going to create a campaign uh, and you want to target people in New Zealand. Uh, I just use that example because that, because that happens to be where I live. Well, you would assume, uh, probably rightly so, that when you first set up your campaign by default, if you say to Google, I only want to show my ads in New Zealand, you would think they're only going to show in New Zealand. But actually, as I'm about to show you, this is not the case and this catches a lot of people out. So uh, what I've got here is my sort of testing uh, playground account. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new campaign. So we're going to come here and we will create a new campaign. And we're going to create a campaign without a goals guidance. It doesn't really matter what you're creating here, but we'll create this one. We're going to do a search campaign. We want some website visits. So I'll just chuck in my uh, personal uh, business website and hit continue. And we're going to, first of all, just to reinforce it, what we're going to do is we're going to disable uh, including the display network on this campaign because that's another massive mistake people make is combining the two and leaving that default option. Now, I'll leave the link to the video in the description for this video that talks about why you shouldn't do that. We'll leave search partners for now. We'll give the campaign a name of test. But what we want to do here is focus on this piece, targeting and audiences, choose who you want to reach. Now, by default, I've got New Zealand set here, but that's not the problem. The problem is when we select location options and you will see that the recommended uh, and default option is targeting people who are in or who show interest in your targeted locations. Now that's a bit of a gotcha because basically there you're sort of saying to Google, uh, I'm gonna give you a bit of leeway to determine if someone is either in New Zealand, that's pretty straightforward. I mean, they're either in there or they're not. Uh, you know, it's it's not one of those countries where you've got a sort of porous border. It's uh, completely separated from everywhere everywhere else in the world. Uh, but even in you know landlocked countries uh, in Europe and Africa and so on, you can still determine country targeting fairly accurately. The issue here is the second piece: people who show interest in your targeted locations. Now, what exactly does that mean? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Google don't seem to be that willing to completely spill the beans on what that means. But what I do know is that quite often I'll come across campaigns where this option has been left uh, as default. And what you'll find is that you will get then people clicking your ads who aren't actually in New Zealand or who aren't actually in America or who aren't actually in the UK or wherever you're targeting down to the city level or, or postcode level or, or state or anything like that. So what you actually want to do, unless you've got a very good reason to leave this default, uh, the reason they recommend you leave it default is, I guess, you're going to get more traffic. Uh, the problem being, though, of course, that you know you might have a service or a product that only applies if it's sold in New Zealand. Uh, and for example, my my digital marketing consultancy, 90% of the customers I work with at the moment are in New Zealand. Uh, now, if someone is in the UK and searches digital marketing consultant Christchurch, and for some reason, Google thinks they're interested in Christchurch, New Zealand, potentially they could wind up seeing my ad and clicking on it. And uh, the chances are they're not going to want to work with me. So it's a waste of my money. So what we do is we actually select this option here. We change to people in your targeted location. What that means is that your ads are only going to show to people who are in the location uh, that you have entered. So in this case, New Zealand, uh, if you've done Australia, it would be Australia and, and so on and so forth. Uh, now, of course, location targeting is not 100% precise, but it is pretty good. Uh, but the main thing is it's sh this should help avoid those situations where you run a campaign for a month or two months or whatever. I mean, I've look, worked on some campaigns that have been running for years. You go in and you look at the location reports uh, and actually look at the sort of geographic report. And suddenly you find uh, there's a campaign I was running, uh, which was a Canadian company, but they were receiving at one point about 15 to 20% per month of the clicks they were getting were actually from India. Now their service only worked for people who were in Canada at that time. Even if these people in India were interested in what 
this Canadian company was uh, doing and selling and offering, they wouldn't have been able to purchase. And therefore, that was 15 to 20% of that client's ad spend budget a month that was being wasted on people who never would have converted. So that's why I recommend you swap to this option here, going after people in your targeted locations. Now, uh, some advertisers might say, hey, we actually reckon it's better to leave it as the default option and then use exclusions. So basically, instead of uh, potentially limiting your reach at the start, what you would do is you would run with this default option. And then as you go and you have performance to assess, you would look in your geographic reports, your location reports, once the campaigns are running and you say, OK, I'm starting to get some, some impressions and some clicks from Australia, but I'm only wanting to sell in New Zealand. So I'll add Australia as a negative location. Uh, so that is one way to do it. But basically, my philosophy here on this channel is that most of the people watching my channel are do-it-yourself or beginner advertisers. They're new to digital marketing. So what I want to do is teach you ways to do things as simply as possible that, sure, they might not in the long run be as effective as micromanaging every aspect of your campaign. If you're a skilled uh, Google Ads manager, you're probably more than capable of managing your campaign properly by running in this default option and then excluding locations. But if you're doing it yourself, it's probably a bit easier just to say, hey, I, I work in New Zealand, my business is in New Zealand, I only want to sell to people in New Zealand, so let's make sure the ads are only running to people in New Zealand. Now, if this concept is a little bit confusing, if you need any help, if you're not sure which option you should be using, please do leave a comment below. Any comment that you leave, I will always attempt to reply to and give you personalized advice. Uh, if you're not comfortable sharing uh, what you need help with, by leaving a comment, maybe you don't want uh, your, your issue to be public, you can email me on info at samfrost.co.nz. Anyone who emails me any question, I'll always respond to you as quickly as I can. Uh, it doesn't matter what your problem is, there are no stupid questions here. Please also like the video if you found this helpful and do subscribe as well. I've got heaps more digital marketing tutorials coming on this channel. My goal is to teach anyone who wants to watch how you can grow your business online yourself. Thanks for watching and have a great day.